All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. So I've been really busy lately, so I haven't been able to post a lot of videos. But what you're going to see here is just a video compilation of a lot of my Super Speed Saturday videos. Or at least three or four I'm going to put up, and I think about five or six is the total amount. So anyway, sit back, relax, put your comments, tell me what you guys think about this, and I'll see you guys this weekend in another video. Ken, that's a nice bike you got here. When did you get this? I got this the other day, baby. You think I'd be able to go for a little ride with you, please? Today is Super Speed Saturday. We got to show the viewers how fast we can go on this bad boy. Oh, you know I can hang on it. Let's just go for one quick ride up and down the street just once. All right, baby, you better hang on. Yay, let's get this going. Better hang on. This bike is fast, baby. Whee! Whee! <laughs> we got them all set over there. We know our GPS is on. I know it's catching because I did see it earlier. So I went in, of course, hit track and started it up. So I'm going to go ahead and get this over here. And we're going to see what he does. I got to kind of get used to him, though. Right now here, but he should be fine. Get them down there going kind of slow. I think people are getting in the between, I think 41 to about 43 or 44 miles per hour. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm going to get this going to see what he can do to go all the way down here. Look at that. So anyway, let's go. This is so smooth, y'all. It's not even funny. This is a huge area. Hopefully I can get him to turn without hitting something. There we go. Wide turn, wide turn. I think he hit down there, but he's still going. <laughs> Just a little bit. Let me go and get this real quick. So he did end up on his side down here. That's why I couldn't get him back up. I hit this curb. I should have made the turn a little bit wider. But uh, anyway, let's go ahead. Let's keep it going. See, I should have made the turn a lot earlier. And I'm gonna dry this on back down there. Should have well, put plenty of reception. It's a little wet out here. Yeah, now he's getting up. I'm gonna let him go down there where my car is at. And I'm gonna come on back down because I don't need that much space. He's probably getting peak speed about halfway down here. So I should have came here. <laughs> and then made my turn here. Going there with it. Thing is, I'm used to driving a car out here in this big area. So I just gotta adjust my turning for a bike. There we go, see, look at that. All right, we're gonna bring this all back down. There we go, put that brake on a little bit. And I was kind of used to driving in grass as well, so that's why I was trying to take it a little bit slower, but let's walk this on down. I'm pretty sure you guys probably don't mind me walking down here slow with this as we see how this bike rolls and see what we got for our speed test he's probably gonna beat me down there two or three times I think if you're as we're walking down here and I'm trying to catch my breath even though it's rained a couple times it's still about 90 degrees out here but I actually love the hot weather I think if you're an RC enthusiast like myself this has helped me to kind of revise my interest back in the hobby and get me more excited to run stuff I'm kind of curious of the top speed of this and what I got See, if you learn how to drive it on concrete it's a lot or pavement it's a lot different than driving a car we're gonna come down real quick so y'all know they're gonna do a speed bike y'all know they are they've already got street tires out for this so the key to turning on concrete is just to go slow because he's not really going to flip over. You can kind of almost let him just come to a complete stop and he'll do a sharper turn. Now how that's going to work on dirt, I'm going to find out later because me and some friends are actually going to get this out and we're going to run them. 
I think we all got about two or three packs, so we're just gonna get out and we're just gonna have some fun and run it. But anyway, let me, uh, <laughs> matter of fact, I'm not even gonna stop. I'm just gonna keep going. I'm pretty sure you guys don't mind. We get full footage just as I'm walking down. See, I'm just gonna, cause I've been running this in the grass a lot, so I've been used to keeping it on throttle when I turn. I'm probably gonna have to look at the maintenance schedule on this as well but uh let's see what we got all right that's there let's bring this up here let's stop this go ahead and read it 45 miles per hour Yeah, I think we lost a little bit. Ooh, don't run into that. Come on back down. Let's see what we got real quick. I doubt it, but... 67, okay. All right, y'all. 68 miles per hour, so we can do 70 if we have that extra two uh, teeth on that spur gear down to a 40.7 or 46, so... Pretty impressive. You guys see how this handles. So anyway, put your comments down below with the like, subscribe, stay tuned for the next video. As always, I appreciate you guys watching. All right, if y'all stay till now. <laughs> this is not gonna be pretty. Ah, it's actually handling it. Look at that. Oh, nope. <laughs> I seen that William. We are not finna do that. We are not doing that out here. Get right about there and then. Yeah, it's trying to. So you definitely would have to lower this down some, do some adjustments if you're trying to run it with this body on here i'm trying to do a wheelie that's full throttle one more pass i probably should turn the gps on right actually it handled it right there. It's going a little bit slower than it was, but. Actually, that handled that. I probably should have turned the GPS on. And we're gonna try one quick pass. This is some bonus footage. Make sure um, this is catching. Starting this back over with for you, Nate. Oh, you didn't start a big Uber. Oh, it is. It's stop the zero. So, hopefully, we're good. I want to see what kind of speeds we can get with this body on here. All right, let's come on down without flipping. If we gradually build up to it, we're good. That held it. That actually held it, y'all. That is full throttle. So definitely run this when there's no wind. All right, let's see what kind of speeds we got real quick too. I don't think I have my temp gun with me. Um, nope, dang it. It's in my other casing, but anyway, let's see what kind of speeds we got real quick. That's with the body on it. 64. Uh, so 64 miles per hour. I think if you hit that 70, you probably will experience that. I don't know. The tires don't balloon, they're belted. So that does help out an awful lot with it.
So we'll see um, what we get out of this. But like I said, with that phone being a little bit heavy, um, we'll see the performance with that. So, but I'm pretty sure this is hitting um, at least 50 miles per hour. And of course, if we gear it up, it's going to go a lot faster. So get these body clips in here real quick. You guys don't want to see that. All right, guys, got this all mounted up. Let's uh, let's see what this uh, bad boy can do. Still hitting a pretty good willy with that heavy phone in there. So we'll give it about maybe two passes. It still wants to hit a little bit of a willy. All right, let's bring this baby back and see what we got. All right, oh, let's see what we got up in here. I won't pause it this time. <laughs> Somebody be like, oh, he tricked us. He changed the GPS out or something. Oh, let's see what we got here. 45 with that. Um, let's try it one more again and kind of see what we get. Uh, with this I'm gonna um, reset this back to zero all right got this mounted back up let's see what we can get I know we can do a little bit higher than 45 let's see what we got maybe the wow oh almost hit it almost hit it didn't quite hit it but almost did Let's see what we got this time. Maybe I'll try another battery too while I'm out here since I'm out here running this uh, to see if that makes any difference. What did we get this time? 44, actually went a little, oh no, 48, there we go. <laughs> I'm looking at that upside down. So you guys see that, about 48 miles per hour. So. All right, y'all, we got 4S in there. I mean, not 4S, 3S. I'm thinking 4S, making sure that this is catching. So I'm thinking we're gonna get about 42 or so, maybe 43, but. Oh, that's huge difference. Now, if you wanna get a Willy bar for here, the Willy bars that work on like the, um, the uh, Armour 3S models will fit on like the granite and stuff, but. Oh, look at that. That's perfect. You really don't need no 4S power. And I know some people are looking at it, but. Oh, that's perfect. And I believe that if I can recall, this is a, I think it's a 3,900, maybe 4,300 kV motor. Let's see what we got on that pass real quick. And we'll take it down one more time. Probably can get maybe a, another mile or two by tightening the stripper clutch up some, but I don't want it to be willing all over the place. But anyway, let's see what we got. 48, almost 50 miles per hour. We're going to see if we can get that. pinion gear inside the new team Corrali Kagami. Normally comes with a 13 tooth pinion gear, but I wanted to try with a 17. Probably the biggest one you can fit in there is gonna be an 18 tooth. Now I don't recommend really running off road with this gearing in it because the car probably will overheat, but it's about 39 degrees out here right now. So I'm not gonna spend a lot of time. I'm cold 
and we're going to try this on 4s first and then we're going to try it on 6s i believe on um make sure that's catching i believe on 4s we got like 48 miles per hour so i should have checked these wheel nuts because <laughs> that's something that they got they got to start doing their vehicles but anyway let's go we should be good to go truck is cruising the sun kind of blinded me a little bit yeah these tires are probably gonna blow off the wheels when I put 6s in here now I do have a wheelie bar for it as well that I'll end up putting on there I'll probably do it tonight or tomorrow this boy is cruising and that's on 4s y'all All right, let's see what we got on 4S LiPo. Let's stop this, go ahead and read it. 55. Too ready to run. So we have a 19.2 pinion gear in there. I hope that's not too much for this vehicle. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and get this tested. Let's go ahead and start this and hope everything is all good. We got a guy out here trying to learn how to drive or something. So. They're around here doing laps or something, but I'm going to give them a second to go on by and then we're going to get this tested. All right, that's one person that went by. <laughs> All right, let's go. I did turn this AVC off. So hopefully we're good to go. I'm going to make sure I actually turn this GPS on. My memory got short that quick and I want to make sure that we get a good pass on it. Yep, and we are ready to go. All right, let's get it. Woo. Got a little willy action going on there. I probably should have lowered it down some. Let's bring this on back down. Yeah. <laughs> I won't be able to get full speed out here, which is a good thing. I still have not done that Firma update yet, but anyway, let's try again. Nope. I won't be able to do it without flipping backwards, doing a backflip, or without a willy bar. All right, let's see what kind of speeds we got on this real quick. Definitely got to work on these brakes and tighten it up some because my brakes are real soft in there. But let's see what we got speed-wise. Come on. I know you caught it. There we go. Now, we didn't get top speed on it, but let's see what we got. 66. All right. We're going to try this again. I'm going to see if I can get it. I am using, actually, a Spectrum battery in here. So it's a 5,000 milliamp uh, 50C, I believe. You know what? My memory's short today. I know I started it, but I'm going to just recheck it yeah those brakes are real soft i'm definitely going to tighten those up before we go bashing yeah we got it started all right let's see what this guy he's over here so all right let's try it again all right i'm gonna try to get full speed without flipping got it but stop <laughs> tires are holding up pretty good for <laughs> what we're doing out here all right let's bring them let's bring them on back down all right let's see what we got with that pass real quick Still not 100% top speed, but we're getting there. 71. 